Dear brothers and sisters, this is a homily for 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time 2021, liturgical year B. Which is the first commandment? asked the scribe in the passage of today. This question shows the desire, the faith, and the love for the essentials or the spirit of the commandment that we have been given by God. In order to deepen our understanding and reflection on this question, which is the first commandment, we shall take the response of Jesus in respect to the gospel reading. Of course, his response outlines the two important conditions or natures of the first commandment which we are going to look at in a short while in this homily. To begin with, questions reveal the curiosity or desire of man and woman to express his or her needs. Indeed, for the last three Sundays, we have had many people in the gospel text who asked Jesus some questions. For instance, on the 28th Sunday, the rich man asked Jesus, what to do in order to have eternal life. On the 29th Sunday, James and John asked Jesus two seats in the kingdom of heaven, one on the right and the other on the left. Again last Sunday, Bartimaeus asked Jesus to let him see again. Today, on this 31st Sunday, a scribe a specialist in the law asks Jesus, which is the first commandment? This question posed by the scribe is not a trap in any way because when Jesus responded, this very scribe agreed, in fact, it is the first time that Jesus and this scribe agree on one subject, which is the commandment or rather the first commandment of all. Jesus' response to this question is very rich. Why? Because, one, it reveals the two natures or conditions of the first commandment, and two, Jesus answers with words and actions. From the gospel passage and the first reading, the first commandment is clear. However, Jesus brings out two important natures or conditions of this greatest commandment, that is, to hear and to love. The prayer of every Jew, two times per day, is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, which forms the first reading of this Sunday. This very prayer of the Jew has its first word as hear. Shema in Hebrew, which means to pay attention to, or to listen, or even to obey. This implies that the first condition is to listen or to obey. Is it not obedience that caused Adam and Eve to sin in the Garden of Eden? Of course, yes, it caused original sin, which is disobedience. Actually, Listening is the greatest of all things. In order to illustrate this listening, in the upcoming Synod in 2023, among the themes given for reflections is listening as a first step towards communion. What is the first condition or the key to succeed in life as a Christian? According to this passage, it is, of course, listening to one another, listening to your spouse, listening to your neighbor, listening to God's word, etc. On the other hand, what is mentioned in the greatest commandment is love. A true question to be posed here is, what does it mean to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. So as to get a spiritual meaning from this, let us use an example of a rope in this case. When one 
wants to make a rope of three cords, he will take the three cords of equal size, then weave them together to have one rope. The essential thing is that one rope is made of three equal cords. In a similar way, the love that we are called to have for God should penetrate into our innermost being, first in the heart, as a seat for all emotions and a source of all things. Then our mind or intelligence, meaning to try to understand God's will in our life, and lastly, to love God with all your strength means that this love is to be strong, full of energy, to go beyond even, as Christ tells us, to love even our enemies. In essence, to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength means to engage or to involve all of our faculties to love God which is expressed practically through the love of neighbor. In fact, Christ shows us here that the love of God and the love of neighbor are inseparable commandments, which could be likened to the two sides of the same coin, which implies that with exclusion of one, the other does not exist automatically. Again, Jesus' response shows a coherence between his words and his actions. He spoke and lived what he spoke by loving everybody, including his 12 disciples, even though he knew Judas Iscariot would betray him. On this 31st Sunday, we are called to re-ask ourselves, what is the greatest thing as a Christian in our families? Which is the first priority in our daily life? Which is the most essential thing in our society today, etc.? On 13th September 2019, I had the occasion to visit and greet Pope Francis. After greetings, he gave us rosaries, meaning he gave us the most important or the first gift that we are called to have and embrace, that is prayer in our daily life as disciples of Christ today. In summary, we can ask of what nature is the first commandment? It is made up of hear and love, which invites us to listen to God, to listen to our neighbors. By listening, we are loving at the same time. May God give us his grace and spirit to live up to these expectations. Let us embrace listening and loving as the first steps towards building communion as Christians today. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.